It's so tragic, Courtney. It's hard really to put into words the pain these students and their families are coping with. And tonight we've learned from CHP it appears that the 16 year old driver did not have a license. They choke back tears remembering Jenny Campos and Jenny Bahena, just 14 years old and full of life. Just wish she could be here. I'm going to miss her a lot. The crowd gathered around the pool where the girls played water polo at Laguna Hills High. Flowers and candles honor their memory. I love her. I'll always keep her in my heart. The girls were among five teenagers who died in this fiery crash along the five in Irvine. They were on their way home from Not Scary Farm in Buena Park early Saturday morning when the 16 year old driver of this BMW lost control. The car slammed into an embankment and burst into flames. They're gone. <laughs> the boys are gone. Billy McNichol is the Mission Viejo Club soccer coach. Well, they, they, they never show it. Uh, they were late for the kickoff. When Alex Sotelo, Matthew Mello, and Brandon Moreno, 14 and 15 years old, didn't show up for their game Saturday morning, coach knew something was wrong, and word quickly spread to the families on the field. Kids were breaking down. Families were breaking down. These are good boys. It's so sad. The three boys went to Capistrano Valley High School, where students there are finding it hard to cope with a sudden loss. I've known two of them since fifth grade, and she's known them since preschool. Yeah. Just feeling so, just so bad, and just asking God, why is this happening? Just as they are supporting each other at the schools, Coach McNichol says the soccer club is devastated and heartbroken too. And the, and the two young ladies breaks their heart. Every family in the in the club is offered. To, what can I do? How do I help? Just go hug your kids a little harder, you know. And tonight, there is no official word on the teenage driver's condition. The soccer club has canceled games for the rest of the weekend. And another candlelight vigil will be held tomorrow night at Capistrano Valley High. And school educators here say counselors are available 24-7 for the students to help them get through this very difficult time. Back to you, Michael.